Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Vexlay, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on my Infinite Warfare beta review, opinion, thoughts, whatever you want to call it, and um, I think the beta ended today, it's Monday, and I'm probably going to have either some KBAR gameplay or some ERAD, I think it's called, it, gameplay in the background. The reason is because those are my two favorite guns in the game, and I got a really cool camo for the ERAD, but basically, if you're wondering why I'm making this video, it's because I do enjoy Call of Duty. I've been playing it since I was like 7 when COD 4 came out. I was born in 2001, February, so whenever COD 4 came out, you can translate it if you really care how old I was when I was playing COD 4. But, um, so I've been playing COD longer than some YouTubers that are COD YouTubers I know. Like, I know some YouTubers that started in World at War. And I've been playing them and getting them ever since. And the Infinite Warfare beta, um, a lot of people hate on it. But I, I don't know what to say, really, because, well, um, let me just give you my opinion at the end. I'm going to go through a bunch of things I like and don't like. The health, I can't really complain about the health. I watch a bunch of people like Phase Jeff. He always says it's really fast, but I don't snipe, so it doesn't really affect me. A shorter kill time is good to me, depending on who you are. But one thing I do have a problem with is the maps. The maps, the f besides terminal, terminal is amazing. Um, the four or three maps they give us, they feel so repetitive, and not just because they're only three maps. I mean, like in Black Ops Three. The maps were more rectangle, and I don't know if that has something to do with it, but the maps in Infinite Warfare, they feel like a circle. Like, alright, so let's talk about Frost. So, I'm going to try to point this out in my head. So, you know where the two gates are, where you can jump over them or go in between the crack, and then you go to the right, and then there's the building with the hole in it and the wall run, and then you have the spawn, and then you have the open area. I feel like in the middle, and I feel like that's the only thing, and I just feel my, I constantly run around in circles and circles, and it's all maps, not just Frost every single map except terminal I just see myself running in circles and maybe I do that in every COD but I especially noticed it in the Infinite Warfare beta the maps they could be better um, I in the way I think they're better in the Black Ops 3 maps because like visually visually they're better I hated the Black Ops 3 maps and um weapons another thing with weapons is I feel like some are really good the really good ones are good and the really bad ones are bad and I don't know if that's just me, maybe I suck with some weapons, like the Karma, I really suck with that gun, but I know a lot of people that use it. The LMGs, both the LMGs were amazing. Shotguns are unusable, I've not been killed by one shotgun. Some people want to say the sniping is OP, I don't really agree with the sniping being OP. I feel like it's a sniper, you, you, you zoom in, you, you shoot, and if it hits, you should die. I mean, yeah... Maybe this is from Drifter's video. He said, yeah, it's not realistic that a sniper will run up on you and shoot you. But if you're playing Call of Duty for realism, you're out of your mind. With We have robot dogs and, and yeah. So if people are going to complain it's not real or it's unfair, either of those arguments are really illogical because Call of Duty is anything but realistic. And if you want to talk fair, we can talk about specialists, which, ooh, that was a nice transition. Um, the specialists... I heard a lot of people complain that they have no backstory. I honestly don't care. The eraser, I find that I find that special is really good. Um, most of I didn't like the Black Ops Three specialists. Like I'm talking about just their straight up weapons. I don't like using the abilities. I, the the straight up weapons. Some of them feel like challenges to use, like the Saro or the Sparrow. Um, that one felt really hard. But the eraser feels really good. The claw feels really good. The the dual pistol one feels really good. They're very good for what they're meant for to be short lasting, extremely strong weapons, and that's exactly what they do. And it's perfect for their job. I can't complain about them. But besides the KBAR, the Volk, I love the Volk too. The Volk is like an AK remake, and it, it may suck, but I have like a, a special spot in my heart for the AK-47, and I feel like it's a very good remaster, very cool name, very cool design. Once I, um, well, no, um, when the game comes out, I hope I could get some attachment for it. But, um, those are just some little things I want to talk about. Now, I want to talk about the game overall. Now, I do not hate the game. I, I did not, I did not find myself... I feel like it's a little too easy. I, I did really good. Like, the last day I played, I got, like, playing TDM, 40 kills plus in each match with the E-Bar, E-Rad, e or K-Bar. Those are my two favorite weapons. Um, I don't really have an opinion on supply drops. Um, I don't know why people are like, oh my god, you're spending money. It's like, okay, either you can play the game or, or spend money. You're not forced to spend money. Why is it that much of a problem? 
the weapon variants don't really bother me either. I don't really care. It's not like, I don't know, it feels different from Advanced Warfare's weapon variants that you can buy them. And they're not that big of a noticeable different, in my opinion. Or different. It's not that, like, noticeable that there's a variant. Like, um, I've never been, like, in Advanced Warfare. Oh my god, I just got killed with the Obsidian Steed or the Speakeasy. There's nothing like that I've really seen in, um, Infinite Warfare. So those don't really bother me. But the game itself is good. If Black Ops 3 never came out, honestly, I feel like it would be so much better because, it, let's just face it, it's it's Black Ops 3. It's it's they have specialists, they have the market, they have the the movement system. It, it it's literally just Black Ops 3's everything, but with Infinity Ward's touches on it. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. I've always liked Infinity Ward. I liked Ghost. Everyone hated on that. I don't understand why. I I do understand why, but I don't agree with it. But um. It, it's so similar to Black Ops 3. It's so similar to Black Ops 3. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I personally don't mind it. Um, it doesn't make me hate the game. But it also does not make me enjoy it. The only thing it does for me is makes me find it more stale. Because think about it like this. Um, however, we all do want boots on the ground. When Advanced Warfare first came out, loved it or hated it. I'm pretty sure I loved the jetpacks in the beginning. I, I loved the boosting in the beginning, but then it got boring. And then we went to Black Ops 3, or I think that's the game right after. And then we got a new gliding system. At first, we really liked it. Then we didn't. Then we ended up not liking it. But see, we got the same thing. So we're not starting out with a good impression of it. We're starting out with the same opinion we had on Black Ops 3, which once again could be good or bad. But. Yeah, that's basically my opinion on the Infinite Warfare beta. Am I going to buy the game? Obviously. I want COD 4 and I want Zombies in Spaceland. Am I going to grind the multiplayer? Probably not. Am I going to play the multiplayer a lot? Probably in the beginning. Is it going to last more than 4-3 months in my opinion, the multiplayer, without someone getting bored or stale? Or having it be stale? Hell no. That's just my opinion though. Tell me what you guys think of it down in the description below. Sorry if this is a different video from my WWE videos that, that I will continue to upload WWE. I also got Battlefield. I'm probably gonna... Oh yeah, Battlefield. Battlefield is just so much fun. Like, why would you get Infinite Warfare over Battlefield? I'm getting both. I already have Battlefield. So, either way, hope you guys enjoyed my Infinite Warfare beta reviews and opinions. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.